Black actresses had a spectacular decade in the 1960s, breaking down barriers and showcasing their extraordinary beauty and talent on the big screen. These women made a lasting impression on the film industry with their groundbreaking performances and iconic roles. The 30 most stunning black actresses of the 1960s are honored in today's video, which also honors their contributions and the significant influence they had during this revolutionary time. 30. Carol Sutton On December 3, 1944, Carol Sutton was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States. She started her acting career in the 1960s and rose to prominence in the theater community in New Orleans. Sutton collaborated with organizations like the Anthony Bean Community Theater and the Southern Repertory Theater, appearing in a number of stage productions. Sutton not only worked in theater, but also had a successful career in film and television. Her filmography included appearances in several films, such as Ray, 2004, Steel Magnolias, 1989, Monsters Ball, 2001, and The Help, 2011. She had a gift for giving her characters nuance and realism, which was frequently evident in her performances. Sutton made appearances on television in a number of programs, such as American Horror Story, Coven, True Detective, and Treem. She also appeared frequently in the drama series Queen Sugar as Lula Poinsett. Carol Sutton's performances garnered critical acclaim throughout her career, earning her multiple nominations and awards. She was renowned for her acting adaptability and capacity to play a variety of roles. Carol Sutton, who was 76 years old, sadly passed away on December 10, 2020. The cause of her death was identified as COVID-19 complications. The entertainment world was shocked to learn of Sutton's passing, and she was regarded as a renowned actress with a lot of talent who made a big impact on the arts, especially in New Orleans. 29. Miriam Makiba Mama Africa, aka Miriam Makiba, was a well-known South African singer, songwriter, and civil rights advocate. She died on November 9, 2008, in Castel Volturno, Italy. She was born on March 4, 1932, in Johannesburg, South Africa. Makiba was a prominent figure in African music and contributed significantly to the genre's global popularity. Her performances of jazz, folk, and traditional South African melodies, as well as her unique voice, helped her gain recognition on a global scale. When Makiba joined the Manhattan Brothers, an all-female vocal group from South Africa, her career took off in the 1950s. She became even more well-known when she joined the well-known band The Skylarks, but it was the release of her hit song Pata Pata, which became a worldwide hit in the 1960s that catapulted her to international stardom. Makiba made use of her position to draw attention to the wrongs of South Africa's apartheid system. She developed into a vocal opponent of the government's racial segregation measures. Her South African passport was cancelled in 1963 as a result of her testimony against apartheid at the UN. She consequently spent nearly three decades living in exile while touring and giving performances all over the world to share her message. Makiba worked with a number of well-known international performers while she was living abroad, such as Harry Belafonte and Paul Simon. She also collaborated with musicians such as Dizzy Gillespie and Nina Simone, fusing African music with other international genres. For the first time since her exile, Makiba returned to South Africa in 1990 as apartheid was coming to an end. She persisted in her support of social justice and human rights, utilizing her position to encourage harmony and peace. Over the course of her five-decade musical career, Miriam Makiba received multiple honors and awards, including Grammy Awards and honorary doctorates, for her activism and musical contributions. She is still regarded as a legendary figure in African music and a representation of resistance to injustice. Her songs still have an impact and inspire listeners. 28. Gloria Hendry, American actress Gloria Hendry rose to stardom in the 1970s. Her career started in the late 1960s, but she is most recognized for playing Bond girl Rosie Carver in the 1973 James Bond movie, Live and Let Die. On March 3, 1949, Hendry was born in Winter Haven, Florida. Before securing her breakthrough performance in Live and Let Die, she began her acting career with small parts in movies and television series. She portrayed a CIA agent named Rosie Carver, who helps James Bond, Roger Moore, with his assignment. 
Her portrayal in the movie attracted praise and contributed to her reputation as a rising star. After becoming successful with the Bond series, Hendry went on to work in television and movies. She starred in a number of noteworthy motion pictures, including Black Caesar, 1973, and Black Belt Jones, 1974. She also made appearances as a guest on TV shows like Police Woman and The Rockford Files. Gloria Hendry had a multi-decade career. Although she wasn't as well known in the 1960s, her talent and beauty were highlighted in her work in the 1970s, which helped increase the number of black actresses in mainstream films. 27. Stephanie Mills, American singer, songwriter, and actress Stephanie Mills first gained notoriety in the 1960s. On March 22, 1957, she was born in Brooklyn, New York. As a young actress, Mills starred in Broadway musicals like Maggie Flynn and The Wiz. Her portrayal of Dorothy in the first Broadway production of The Wiz was what made her well-known and won her praise from critics. Mills gained a devoted following thanks to her soulful performances in songs like Home and her powerful vocals. Mills has won numerous accolades over her career, including the 1981 Grammy Award for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance for her smash hit song, Never Knew Love Like This Before. Her multiple album releases demonstrate her versatility as a singer in a range of genres. Apart from her career in music, Mills has made appearances in television and movies. She made cameos on TV shows like The Love Boat and The Steve Harvey Show and starred in films like The Wiz, 1978, and Car Wash, 1976. Stephanie Mills is still performing and touring, enthralling crowds with her timeless hits and strong voice. She is still a major player in the music business, especially in the R&B and soul genres. 26. Ketty Lester, American singer and actress Ketty Lester rose to fame in the 1960s. In Hope, Arkansas on August 16, 1934, she was born. The song Love Letters, which Lester recorded and made a huge hit in 1962, is her most famous achievement. The song peaked at number two on the R&B chart and at number five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It is still her most popular and lucrative record. Lester pursued acting as a career in addition to singing. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, she appeared in a number of television programs, including The Fugitive, Marcus Welby, M.D., and Little House on the Prairie. Her most notable performance, though, was in the 1968 television series Little House on the Prairie, where she played Hester Sue Terhune. She played the role for multiple seasons, receiving praise from critics for how well she did. Ketty Lester made significant contributions to television and music in the 1960s and beyond that have endured. Her place in entertainment history has been cemented by her accomplishments with Love Letters and her role on Little House on the Prairie. 25. Ethel Ayler, American actress Ethel Ayler was well known for her roles in theater, television, and movies. She died on November 18, 2018, in Loma Linda, California, after being born in Whistler, Alabama, on May 1, 1930. Starting in the 1960s, Ayler had a prolific career spanning multiple decades. Her involvement in theater included several Broadway productions, including The Great White Hope and The Owl and the Pussycat. Ayler gained praise from critics and was well known for her theatrical productions. Ayler performed in theater and appeared in movies and television shows. She appeared in films including Eve's Bayou, 1997, and To Sleep With Anger, 1990. Ayler made appearances on popular television programs like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Family Ties, and The Cosby Show. She frequently played maternal, sage, and nurturing roles. Ayler's acting was distinguished by her grace, warmth, and capacity to give her characters nuance. She was renowned for her ability to encapsulate the spirit of her characters and express a wide range of emotions. The entertainment industry has been forever changed by Ethel Ayler's contributions, especially in theater, film, and television. In the acting community, she is well respected for her skill and commitment to the craft. 24. Judy and Elder, American actress Judy and Elder is well known for her roles in theater, television, and movies. On August 18, 1948, she was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Elder's career spans a variety of onstage and screen roles. She has participated in a number of theatrical productions, including Broadway productions of Having Our Say 
and Raisin. She is renowned for her strong and expressive acting, and her stage productions have won praise from critics. Throughout her career, Elder has made appearances in a number of well-known television programs. Her television credits are noteworthy, encompassing guest spots on shows like The Jeffersons, Hill Street Blues, Family Matters, and The Parkers. She has portrayed a range of characters in comedies and dramas to highlight her versatility as an actress. Elder has also contributed to motion pictures. She starred in films including The Meteor Man, 1993, and Lean on Me, 1989. Her ability to give her characters nuance and realism has been demonstrated by her cinematic performances. Elder is not only an actor but also a teacher and acting coach. She has taught aspiring actors through workshops and classes, sharing her knowledge. Judy and Elder is well known in the entertainment industry thanks to her skill and commitment. She continues to be a significant figure in the acting community, and her contributions to theater, film and television have had a lasting effect. 23. Denise Nicholas is an American social activist, writer, and actress. On July 12, 1944, she was born in Detroit, Michigan. Nicholas rose to fame for her television acting parts in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Her most well-known role was in the hit television series Room 222, where she played high school teacher Liz McIntyre, 1969-1974. She received two Golden Globe nominations and critical acclaim for her performance on the show. Following Room 222, Nicholas made appearances in a number of TV series, such as In the Heat of the Night, Police Story, and The Love Boat. In addition, she appeared in the popular drama series In the Heat of the Night, from 1988 to 1993 in a recurring role as Harriet DeLong Gillespie. Apart from her TV appearances, Nicholas acted in a number of movies, such as Let's Do It Again, 1975, and Blackula, 1972. She was renowned for her ability to give her characters nuance and realism. In addition to her work in theater, Denise Nicholas is a writer and social activist. Her writings on racial identity and civil rights, such as Freshwater Road and Soul Food Sisters, have been published. Nicholas has gained prominence due to her contributions to the entertainment sector and her commitment to social activism. Her works demonstrate her dedication to tackling significant social issues and her television and film roles are still highly regarded. 22. Lynn Hamilton, American actress Lynn Hamilton is well known for her roles in both television and movies. On April 25, 1930, she was born in Yazoo City, Mississippi. Over the course of several decades, Hamilton has had a successful career that includes roles in both films and television series. Her most well-known performance was in the popular sitcom Sanford and Son, 1972-1977, as Donna Harris, the wife of Fred Sanford's friend Grady Wilson. She gained notoriety and recognition from viewers for her work on the show. Hamilton appeared as a guest on many television programs, including The Jeffersons, The Rockford Files, The Twilight Zone, and The Dukes of Hazard. in addition to Sanford and Son. She played a variety of characters in comedic and dramatic roles, showcasing her versatility. In addition, Hamilton portrayed Pearl in the motion pictures The Buddy Holly Story, 1978, and The Color Purple, 1985. Her film roles gave her the chance to showcase her acting prowess on a large screen. Hamilton has received accolades for her friendly and captivating on-screen persona throughout her career. She has received praise for her ability to give her characters nuance and relatability, which leaves audiences with unforgettable performances. Lynn Hamilton's standing as a respected actress has been cemented by her contributions to the entertainment industry, especially in film and television. She is a well-liked figure in the acting community thanks to her talent and commitment. 21. Helen Martin, American actress Helen Martin was well known for her roles in theater, television, and movies. She died on March 25, 2000 in Monterey, California, after being born on July 23, 1909, in St. Louis, Missouri. In the 1960s, Martin made her professional theater debut, starting her acting career relatively late in life. Her onstage persona brought her fame, especially when she appeared in New Lafayette Theater Productions in Harlem, New York. Among her noteworthy theater credits are The Great Mac Daddy and The Amen Corner. 
Martin made the switch to film and television in the 1980s and 1990s. She is most known for playing the feisty and sassy neighbor Pearl Shea in the television sitcom 227, 1985 to 1990. She became a fan favorite and received a great deal of praise for her portrayal of Pearl. Martin appeared as a guest on a number of television programs, including Amen, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Martin, in addition to 227. She also starred in movies like Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, 1996, and I'm Gonna Get You Sucka, 1988. Martin was well known for her charming presence, memorable one-liners, and comedic timing. She could also steal scenes. Her lively personality and sharp wit were frequently on display during her performances. Helen Martin has made a significant and enduring contribution to the entertainment industry, especially in television. Her iconic portrayal of Pearl on 227 Endures, and the acting community adores her for her skill and standout performances. 20. Marla Gibbs, American actress, singer, and comedian Marla Gibbs was born. On June 14, 1931, she was born in Chicago, Illinois. Gibbs' most well-known performance was in the hit sitcom The Jeffersons, 1975-1985, as the sassy maid Florence Johnston. She became a fan favorite when she portrayed Florence, with her sharp humor and catchy catchphrases. For her work on the show, Gibbs was nominated for multiple awards, including five primetime Emmys. Before gaining popularity from her role on The Jeffersons, Gibbs had already made a name for herself in the entertainment industry. She sang in a variety of nightclubs and other venues when she first started her career. She also provided background vocals for musicians like Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles. Gibbs appeared on a number of other television programs, in addition to her work on The Jeffersons. Her recurring part as Mary Jenkins on the sitcom, 227, 1985 to 1990, allowed her to display her comedic and dramatic abilities. Additionally, Gibbs made cameos on television programs including Scandal, Martin, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In addition, Gibbs has played prominent parts in motion pictures, including The Meteor Man, 1993, and Medea's Witness Protection, 2012. Marla Gibbs has received accolades throughout her career for her vivid personality, comedic timing, and ability to create endearing characters. She has had a long-lasting influence on the entertainment business and is still adored by both fans and fellow performers. 19. Claudia McNeil, American actress Claudia McNeil is best known for her roles in theater and movies. She died on November 25, 1993, in Englewood, New Jersey, after being born in Baltimore, Maryland on August 13, 1917. McNeil enjoyed a distinguished career in theater, receiving praise from critics for her Broadway roles. Her most well-known performance occurred in 1959 when she played Lena Younger in the groundbreaking drama A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. The play examined the life of an African-American family on Chicago's South Side, and McNeil received a lot of positive feedback for her performance as the matriarch. In the play's 1961 cinematic adaptation, she played the same part. McNeil performed in a number of theater productions besides A Raisin in the Sun, such as Tiger, Tiger Burning Bright, and The Last Sweet Days of Isaac. She was renowned for giving intense, emotionally charged performances in which she frequently portrayed strong, independent women. In addition, McNeil had a successful film career, appearing in films like Black Girl, 1972, and The Great White Hope, 1970. Her film roles demonstrated her ability to give her characters nuance and realism. Claudia McNeil was respected for her formidable stage presence, superb acting abilities, and dedication to portraying nuanced and captivating characters throughout her career. Her contributions to theater and film have had a long-lasting influence. 18. Gail Fisher American actress Gail Fisher was well known for her portrayal of Peggy Fair in the television series Mannix. She was born in Orange, New Jersey on August 18, 1935, and died in Culver City, California, on December 2, 2000. In the detective drama series Mannix, 1967-1975, Fisher's breakthrough role came in 1968 when she was chosen to play Peggy Fair, the devoted and capable secretary to private investigator Joe Mannix, played by Mike Connors. 
Her portrayal of Peggy was revolutionary because, for her work on the show in 1970, she became the first African-American actress to win an Emmy Award in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Fisher had made guest appearances in a number of television series before Mannix, such as Perry Mason, The New Breed, and The Doctors and the Nurses. But she received critical acclaim and broad recognition for her work on Mannix. Fisher kept making cameos on TV series like Love, American Style, and The Feather and Father Gang after Mannix. She also starred in motion pictures, including Thomasine and Bushrod, 1974, and The Organization, 1971. Fisher's skill, composure, and professionalism won her praise. She broke through barriers as an African-American actress in an era when there weren't many opportunities for actors of color. Her performance as Peggy Fair in Mannix is still remembered as a pivotal moment in the history of television. 17 Janet McLaughlin was an American actress known for her work in film, television, and theater. She was born on August 27, 1933, in New York City, and passed away on October 11, 2010, in Los Angeles, California. McLaughlin had a diverse and accomplished career in the entertainment industry. She appeared in numerous television shows throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Some of her notable television credits include guest appearances on series such as The Twilight Zone, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, Mission Impossible, and The Cosby Show. She was also a series regular on the drama Peyton Place in the mid-1960s. In addition to her television work, McLaughlin had roles in various films. She appeared in movies such as Sounder, 1972, which earned her critical acclaim for her performance as the mother of a sharecropper family. Her other film credits include The Great White Hope, 1970, and The Poseidon Adventure, 1972. McLaughlin also had a successful theater career. She appeared on Broadway in productions such as The Cool World and The Great White Hope, further showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Janet McLaughlin was recognized for her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. She was known for her strong presence on screen, delivering powerful performances that resonated with audiences. Janet McLaughlin's contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting impact. Her talent and dedication to her craft made her a respected figure in film, television, and theater. She is remembered as a versatile and accomplished actress who brought a unique depth to her roles. 16. Gloria Faust, American actress Gloria Foster was well known for her roles in theater, television, and movies. She died in New York City on September 29, 2001, after a brief illness on November 15, 1933, in Chicago, Illinois. Foster demonstrated her talent and adaptability throughout her extensive career in theater and film. Her portrayal of the Oracle in the science fiction films The Matrix, 1999, and The Matrix Reloaded, 2003, brought her widespread recognition. She left a lasting impression on the franchise with her enigmatic and potent portrayal of the Oracle. Foster had a long history in theater before starring in The Matrix. She appeared in Broadway productions including The Sign in Sidney Brustian's Window and In White America. Foster received accolades for her theatrical performances, and people held her talent and stage presence in high regard. Foster did theater and film work in addition to appearing on TV shows like Law & Order and The Cosby Show. In addition, she starred in movies including Leonard Part 6, 1987, and City of Hope, 1991. Foster was renowned for her ability to give her characters nuance and passion. She commanded attention both on stage and in movies, receiving frequent recognition for the authenticity and emotional depth of her performances. Gloria Foster made a significant contribution to the entertainment business, especially with her portrayal of the Oracle in the The Matrix television series. Both audiences and fellow actors continue to laud her talent and unforgettable performances. 15. Paula Kelly, American actress, singer, and dancer Paula Kelly was well known for her roles in theater, television, and movies. She died on February 8, 2020, in Whittier, California, after being born in Jacksonville, Florida, on October 21, 1943. Kelly enjoyed great success throughout the course of several decades and a variety of media in her career. She started out as a dancer, 
performing with the dance company of renowned choreographer Alvin Ailey. Her talent as a dancer brought her to Broadway, where she performed in shows like The Dozens and Something More. Kelly was well known for her roles in motion pictures, including Sweet Charity, 1969, in which she co-starred with Shirley MacLaine as Helene, a dance hall hostess. She also starred in the 1971 film, The Andromeda Strain. On television, Kelly made guest appearances on popular shows like Kojak, Night Court, and The Golden Girls. She also had recurring roles on series such as Santa Barbara and The Women of Brewster Place. Kelly was known for her versatility as an actress, and she often showcased her singing and dancing abilities in her performances. Her talent, charisma, and stage presence made her a standout performer. In addition to her acting career, Paula Kelly was involved in activism and community work. She was an advocate for the arts and worked to support and promote arts education. Paula Kelly's contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly in dance and acting, have left a lasting impact. Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft continue to be celebrated, and she remains an influential figure in the performing arts. 14. Vonetta McGee American actress Vonetta McGee was well known for her roles in television and movies. She died on July 9, 2010, in Berkeley, California, after being born in San Francisco, California, on January 14, 1945. Throughout the 1970s, McGee's career was noteworthy as she starred in multiple films that highlighted her beauty and skill. Her portrayal of Ruth Gaines, the title character's love interest in the black exploitation movie Blackula, 1972, is among her best known roles. She also acted in other black exploitation movies, including Shaft in Africa, 1973, and Hammer, 1972. Apart from her involvement in black exploitation movies, McGee made appearances across multiple genres. She starred in films including The Iger Sanction, 1975, Thomasine and Bushrod, 1974, and Melinda, 1972. McGee was a trailblazer for African-American actresses of that era because she frequently played strong, intelligent, and self-assured characters. McGee guest starred on a number of well-known television programs, including Starsky and Hutch, The Mod Squad, and Mannix. She was also a recurring character on Cagney and Lacey. McGee was renowned for her remarkable beauty, as well as her ability to give her characters nuance and complexity. Her grace and elegance were frequently complimented on her performances. In addition to her acting career, Vonetta McGee was dedicated to advancing positive portrayals of African Americans in the entertainment industry and actively participated in civil rights activism. Vonetta McGee's contributions to television and cinema, especially in the black exploitation era, have endured. She was a gifted actress who dismantled obstacles and cleared the path for upcoming black American performers. Both fans and fellow actors continue to honor and remember her work. 13. Ethel Waters American singer and actress Ethel Waters is renowned for her contributions to theater, jazz, blues, and gospel. She died on September 1, 1977, in Chatsworth, California, after being born in Chester, Pennsylvania, on October 31, 1896. In the 1910s, Waters started her singing career by appearing in nightclubs and vaudeville productions. Her soulful interpretations of jazz and blues songs won her popularity, and she went on to become one of the most successful African-American performers of her era. Her recordings of Dinah, Stormy Weather, and Am I Blue are a few of note. When Waters starred in the musical review Africana in the 1920s, she became the first African-American woman to be featured in a mainstream Broadway production. She went on to have a prosperous career in theater performing in productions like As Thousands Cheer and Blackbirds of 1928. Additionally, Waters had a big influence on the movie business, following her role as lead in the 1929 motion picture On With the Show. She starred in other films including Cabin in the Sky, 1943, and Pinky, 1949, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, she kept appearing in television shows and movies. In addition to her work in entertainment, Ethel Waters actively supported racial equality and was an advocate for civil rights. She fought against racial discrimination and addressed social issues using her platform. 
Ethel Waters was a significant figure in the entertainment and music industries thanks to her skill, vocal range, and emotional depth. Her influence on jazz, blues, theater, and film has endured, and she is regarded as a trailblazer and a pivotal figure in the history of African-American culture. 12. Leslie Uggams, American singer-actress Leslie Uggams has achieved success in the theater, television, and film industries. On May 25, 1943, she was born in New York City. At the young age of six, Uggams made her television debut on the program Beulah, launching her career in show business. When she emerged victorious from the talent competition, The Lawrence Welk Show, as a teenager and started appearing regularly on the show, she attracted widespread attention. Throughout her career, Uggams has made guest appearances on a number of popular television programs, including Kojak, The Love Boat, and All My Children. In addition, she appeared frequently in the popular series Empire. Apart from her stint in television, Uggams has achieved success in theater and cinema. She starred in films including Sugar Hill, 1993, and Skyjacked, 1972. When Uggams performed on stage, she won praise from critics for her roles in musicals such as Thoroughly Modern Millie and Hallelujah Baby, for which she was nominated for a Tony Award. 11. Judy Pace, American actress Judy Pace rose to fame in the late 1960s and early 1970s. On June 15, 1942, she was born in Los Angeles, California. Pace started her acting career in the 1960s, making appearances in a number of movies and TV series. She played Vicki Fletcher in the TV series Peyton Place from 1968 to 1969, which was one of her most well-known roles. Popular primetime soap opera Peyton Place ran from 1964 to 1969. In addition, Pace starred in a number of motion pictures in the late 1960s and early 1970s, such as The Klansman, 1974, and Cotton Comes to Harlem, 1970. She appeared in these movies in supporting roles a lot. Judy Pace pursued a career in acting, but was also active in the community and in activism. She collaborated with groups like the National Urban League and was an active participant in the civil rights movement. Judy Pace made a lot of contributions to the entertainment industry and helped shape the shifting cultural climate of her era, even though her career may not be as well known as that of some of her contemporaries. 10. Diana Ross, American singer, actress, and record producer Diana Ross first gained notoriety in the 1960s as the lead vocalist of the well-liked Motown group The Supremes. On March 26, 1944, she was born in Detroit, Michigan. Diana Ross, the lead vocalist for The Supremes, was incredibly successful thanks to hits like Stop, In the Name of Love, Where Did Our Love Go?, and Baby Love. The group rose to prominence as one of Motown's biggest acts and among the all-time best-selling female groups. Their success was largely due to Diana Ross's unique voice and glitzy stage appearance. Diana Ross started a solo career in 1970 and put out several popular albums. Ain't No Mountain High Enough, Upside Down, and I'm Coming Out are among her best-known solo hits. She rose to fame for her captivating stage appearances, soulful delivery, and strong vocals. Diana Ross received many honors during her career, including Tony Awards, American Music Awards, and Grammy Awards. In 2012, she received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award as additional recognition. Diana Ross has pursued acting endeavors in addition to her music career. She acted in movies like Mahogany, 1975, and Lady Sings the Blues, 1972, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award. She kept juggling her acting and music careers, demonstrating her talent and adaptability in both. Diana Ross has had a big impact on popular culture and music. Her legend has been cemented by her contributions to Motown and the music business at large. She has influenced countless artists through her enduring stage presence, glamorous appearance, and powerful voice. 9. Nichelle Nichols, American actress, singer, and voice actor Nichelle Nichols is most known for her groundbreaking performance on the original Star Trek television series as Lieutenant Uhura. In Robbins, Illinois, on December 28, 1932, she was born. The Lieutenant Uhura role played by Nichelle Nichols marked a critical turning point in television history. Being a member of the bridge crew and communications officer on board the starship USS Enterprise, 
Her character was among the first African-American women to hold a prominent and non-stereotypical role on American television. Many African-American actors and viewers were inspired by Nichols' portrayal of Uhura, which broke down barriers and demonstrated intelligence, competence, and grace. A long-lasting impression was left by Nichols's 1966 to 1969 Star Trek performance. As a member of an inclusive and diverse crew, her character's presence on the show challenged and altered prevalent stereotypes in the entertainment industry. Additionally, Nichols' performance opened the door for other generations of actors of color to be chosen for important roles in movies and television. Nichelle Nichols has had a varied career outside of Star Trek. She has made multiple television appearances, stage plays, and movies. As a singer, she put out multiple albums that showcased her vocal abilities in pop and jazz, among other genres. Additionally, Nichols has supported science education and space exploration. She collaborated with NASA to entice women and minorities to join the space program after Star Trek. Her efforts paid off, as she rose to prominence as a respected NASA spokesperson and a key figure in the movement to advance diversity in the space exploration industry. Nichelle Nichols is a legendary figure thanks to her groundbreaking role as Lieutenant Uhura and her contributions to the entertainment industry. She has used her platform to inspire and promote positive change, so her influence goes beyond her acting career. 8. Juanita Moore, American actress Juanita Moore was born in Los Angeles, California, on October 19, 1914. Her performance as Annie Johnson in Douglas Sirk's 1959 film Imitation of Life helped her rise to fame. The film explores themes of race, identity, and contemporary social issues through the story of two single mothers, one black, one white, and their daughters. Moore received high praise for her portrayal of Annie Johnson, which led to her being nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Academy Award. She was just the fifth African-American actress to be nominated for an Oscar. Both critics and viewers found resonance in her portrayal of a loving mother navigating racial discrimination and the difficulties of parenting a mixed-race daughter. Notwithstanding imitation of life's critical acclaim, Moore struggled to land significant roles in Hollywood because black actors at the time had few options. Throughout her career, she worked in theater, television, and film, but she frequently had trouble landing parts that truly highlighted her range and skill as an actress. During a period of limited racial representation, Juanita Moore broke through as a black actress and made significant contributions to the entertainment industry. She was a trailblazer and a gifted performer who passed away in Los Angeles on January 1, 2014, at the age of 99. Her performance in Imitation of Life is still a significant aspect of her career and a showcase for her acting. 7. Diana Sands, American actress Diana Sands was born in New York City on August 22, 1934. Her contributions to theater and film are well known, especially those from the 1960s and 1970s. One of the first African-American actresses to be acknowledged and receive praise from critics for her work was Sands. Sands's Broadway debut was in Lorraine Hansberry's 1961 production of A Raisin in the Sun, which served as her breakthrough role. Her portrayal of Beneath the Younger, a young Chicagoan woman from a black family, won her high appreciation. Sansa's portrayal of Benita demonstrated her acting prowess, intelligence, and adaptability. Sans made the move from theater to film and television after finding success there. She made appearances in a number of noteworthy motion pictures, including Hal Ashby's The Landlord, 1970, and A Raisin in the Sun, 1961, in which she reprised her stage role. Additionally, Sans appeared on television programs including East Side Slash West Side, Ben Casey, and I Spy. Sands encountered difficulties as a black actress in a mostly white field throughout her career. She frequently found it difficult to land significant roles with nuance and complexity, and she was vocal about the lack of options available to black actors. Diana Sands tragically died on September 21, 1973, at the young age of 39 from complications resulting from cancer. 6. Abby Lincoln On August 6, 1930, Abby Lincoln, an American jazz vocalist, songwriter, and actress, was born Anna Marie Wooldridge. She is well known for both her contributions to the civil rights movement and her strong, unique voice. In the 1950s, Lincoln started out as a vocalist and was influenced by jazz greats like Sarah Vaughan and Billie Holiday. 
she became well known for her vocal performance's capacity to narrate tales and emote. Abby Lincoln's Affair, A Story of a Girl in Love, 1956, That's Him, 1957, and Straight Ahead, 1961, are a few of her well-known albums. Lincoln was passionate about acting in addition to music. She starred in multiple motion pictures, such as The Girl Can't Help It, 1956, and For Love of Ivy, 1968, for which she was nominated for a Golden Globe in the Best Actress category. Additionally, Lincoln starred in the 1962 Broadway production of Fly Blackbird. Abby Lincoln utilized her position to promote social justice and civil rights throughout her life. Her songs frequently touched on racial injustice, women's rights, and self-determination. She worked with notable artists like Max Roach, Archie Shepp, and Sonny Rollins and was a fervent supporter of the Black Arts Movement. 5. Cicely Tyson American actress Cicely Tyson was born in New York City on December 19, 1924. Over her career, she made major contributions to theater, television, and film, earning her a reputation as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. In the 1950s, Tyson started her acting career and soon became well-known for her charisma on stage. She rose to fame for her stirring performances and her ability to give her characters nuance and realism. Her performance as the lead in the Broadway production of The Blacks in 1963 brought her critical acclaim and signaled a turning point in her career. When Tyson moved into film in the 1970s, she had a big impact thanks to her roles in a number of noteworthy productions. She starred in two television films, The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, 1974, which won her two Emmy Awards and Sounder, 1972, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. Tyson persisted in accepting difficult parts that highlighted her breadth and depth as an actress. Over the course of her career, Tyson has frequently played strong, independent African-American women who shatter stereotypes and overcome obstacles. She was renowned for her dedication to narrating tales that delves into racial, identity, and social justice themes. Tyson's performances were distinguished by her poise, dignity, and capacity for evoking strong feelings. Apart from her involvement in movies and TV shows, Tyson was also involved in theater and gained praise from critics for her onstage roles. In 2013, she made a comeback to Broadway in The Trip to Bountiful, for which she was honored with the Tony Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Cicely Tyson was bestowed with many accolades and honors, one of which being the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016. She was a trailblazing actress who made a lasting impression on the entertainment industry and cleared the path for upcoming black performers. At the age of 96, Cicely Tyson passed away on January 28, 2021, leaving behind a remarkable legacy as an icon, role model, and gifted individual. 4. Dorothy Dandridge, American actress, singer, and dancer Dorothy Dandridge was born in Cleveland, Ohio, on November 9, 1922. She is regarded as one of the first African-American actresses in Hollywood during the middle of the 20th century to be successful and well-known. Alongside her sister Vivian, Dandridge started her career in entertainment as a member of the family vaudeville act, The Wonder Children. They became well-known for their skill and stage presence after giving performances in theaters and nightclubs. Dandridge made the switch to film in the 1940s, appearing in a few small roles in films like Lady from Louisiana, 1941, and For Shall Die, 1940. But it was Dandridge's groundbreaking performance in the 1954 film Carmen Jones that won her praise from critics and recognition across the globe. She portrayed the sultry and nuanced Carmen in the title role, showcasing her acting prowess and earning her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. She became the first female African-American nominee in that category as a result. Dandridge experienced racial discrimination and had few opportunities in Hollywood, despite her talent and success. Her career suffered as a result of her inability to secure roles that went beyond stereotypical representations of black women. She did, however, carry on doing film, theater, and television work in the 1950s and 1960s. Dandridge's personal life was marked by tumultuous relationships and financial challenges. She faced racial prejudice and struggled with her mental health. Tragically, Dorothy Dandridge's life was cut short when she passed away on September 8, 1965, at the age of 42. 
Dorothy Dandridge left a lasting legacy as a talented performer who broke barriers for African-American actresses in Hollywood. Her beauty, charisma, and talent made her an inspiration for future generations of black performers, and her impact on the entertainment industry continues to be recognized and celebrated. 3. Eartha Kitt, American actress, singer, and dancer Eartha Kitt was born in North Carolina on January 17, 1927. She had a multi-decade career and was well known for her unique voice and captivating stage presence. Kitt started out with the Catherine Dunham Company as a dancer before moving on to acting and singing. She became well known for her distinctive vocal style and seductive, elegant stage persona. Santa Baby, Kitt's 1953 hit song, is still among her most well-known recordings. Apart from her prosperous musical career, Kit made multiple appearances in theater plays, television shows, and movies. Her career began when she starred in the Broadway musical New Faces of 1952. In 2000, she was nominated for a Tony Award for her performance in The Wild Party. Her notable filmography includes the 1958 films Anna LaCasta, St. Louis Blues, and Boomerang, 1992. In addition, Kit was well known for her activism and candor. She received praise and criticism for her support of civil rights and her vocal opposition to racial injustice. Her career temporarily declined after she gained notoriety in 1968 for publicly criticizing President Lyndon B. Johnson's Vietnam War policies at a White House luncheon. Eartha Kit performed for audiences all over the world and did so for the rest of her life. She became a cherished and iconic figure due to her talent and captivating stage presence. She was showered with honors, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and multiple Grammy nominations. At the age of 81, Eartha Kitt passed away on December 25, 2008. Her contributions to music, theater, and film are still honored, and her legacy as a trailblazing performer, activist, and cultural icon endures. 2. Ruby Dee, American playwright, actress, poet, and civil rights activist Ruby Dee died in 1964. She died on June 11, 2014, in New Rochelle, New York, after being born in Cleveland, Ohio, on October 27, 1922. Throughout the course of his storied career spanning multiple decades, Dee made a substantial impact on theater, cinema, television, and literature. She was renowned for her stirring performances and her capacity to give her characters nuance and realism. In the 1940s, Dee started her acting career and soon became well known for her skill and adaptability. She made several stage appearances, such as the 1959 Broadway premiere of A Raisin in the Sun, in which she played Ruth Younger for the first time. Apart from her theatrical career, Dee also enjoyed success in the film industry. Her filmography includes appearances in films like Edge of the City, 1957, The Jackie Robinson Story, 1950, and Buck and the Preacher, 1972. She also worked on a number of projects with her husband, Ossie Davis, including the 1989 movie, Do the Right Thing. Dee's dedication to social justice and civil rights was a fundamental aspect of who she was. Along with Davis, she took part in marches and used her position to speak out for equality during the civil rights movement. Prominent individuals like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. were friends with them, Dee won various awards and recognitions for her efforts over the course of her career. Her performance in the television film Decoration Day, 1990, earned her an Emmy Award, and she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in American Gangster, 2007. Among other distinguished awards, she also received the Kennedy Center Honors and the National Medal of Arts. With her death in 2014, Ruby Dee came to an extraordinary career that had a long-lasting influence on both the entertainment business and the civil rights movement. She was a trailblazer for African-American performers, a gifted actress, and an ardent activist. Audiences are still moved and inspired by her legacy today. 1. Diahan Carroll, American model, singer, and actress Diahan Carroll was born. She died on October 4, 2019, in Los Angeles, California, after being born on July 17, 1935, in the Bronx, New York City. Carol started out as a model and was well known for her grace and beauty. For her performance in the Broadway production of No Strings, she was the first African-American woman to win the 1962 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical.
Carol successfully made the switch to television, becoming one of the first female African Americans to have her own show. In 1968, she portrayed the title character of a widowed nurse, rearing her son in the groundbreaking sitcom Julia. Carol's portrayal of an African American woman in a non stereotypical role made the show noteworthy, and it won her a Golden Globe. Carol made several appearances in TV series and movies over her career. Her notable filmography includes Porgy and Bess, 1959, Carmen Jones, 1954, and Claudine, 1974 for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. She also starred in the TV shows A Different World, 1988-1993, and Dynasty, 1984-1987. Carol had a successful singing career in addition to her acting career, and she put out multiple albums in her lifetime. Her vocal abilities were showcased in concert halls and nightclubs where she performed. Carol was a trailblazer and an inspiration to African-American performers due to her talent and poise. She cleared the path for upcoming generations by shattering barriers and combating racial stereotypes in the entertainment industry. Her support of diversity and representation, along with her contributions to film and television, are still widely appreciated. With his death, Diahan Carroll's extraordinary career, which spanned more than six decades, came to an end. She was a trailblazer, a talented singer and an actress.